today I am reacting to disability awareness TikToks. If you don't know already, I have finally joined TikTok and I'm having an absolute blast. It's really kind of young and fresh and a bit different and adds a lot more humour into disability awareness. I asked you a while ago on the community tab what sort of videos you would like to see more of and quite a lot of you were asking to see more sort of confidence boosting videos. So I thought that this would be quite a cool, fun way to add confidence if you're struggling a little bit with um, a disability. I have been there, when I was growing up I felt very insecure, I didn't have any confidence, I just wanted to crawl into a hole and no one look at me. But with the thanks to social media and TikToks and things like that, it's really helped normalise disability and sort of put a bit of humour onto that as well and by other people with lower confidence maybe watching those TikToks it might help boost your confidence in seeing other people being so content with their life. So I thought let's react to some so I can show you some that I think are really fantastic and that might give you a little bit of a laugh and also help you out with your confidence levels today. Okay, so the first girl that we're going to look at, her name is Maria Baino, I think is how you say her surname. She is doing some really, really fantastic things on there. And um, let's just have a look at this one because I really felt like I could relate to this. If you don't know who Maria is, um, Maria has a channel on YouTube, I think, called Maria Muscle. She has a lot of fitness um, videos and she is part of the Rolex. So I did meet her when I went out into LA and um, we got on really, really well. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> This crown gives me a feeling of power! Power! Forgive me a cruel chuckle. <laughs> power. I love it. I love it. And it's got here, Do I wish the world was more accessible? Yes. But at least this makes me feel like a queen. So um, she can't get down the stairs in her wheelchair. So she's got like four big guys lifting up her chair. And she's kind of kind of making fun of the situation and um, making herself feel kind of regal like she's being carried out kind of gives me the vibes when Aladdin comes to visit Princess Jasmine for the first time and he's got this whole fanfare going on that's the kind of feeling I get from this one and I have been in situations like this and for me like being in that situation like 10 plus years ago I would be like oh my god please no I just want the world to swallow me up I don't want to be seen I don't want a big fuss made uh, which is fine to feel like that and I do feel like that but I just love the way that it's kind of just made fun of this situation um, and it, you, it just helps you feel less alone I think and that's why I really really liked this one okay am I in a stressful situation is this situation a little stressful I don't sense no stress I'm stressed <laughs> Thumbs up if you've been in this situation. I have, not long ago actually. Um, a few years ago I applied for a job and I turned up and there was no uh, wheelchair access and it was just like not suitable and I can completely empathize with this. Um, I leave my wheelchair out of the resume because it has nothing to do with my qualifications, which is true. Um, you don't have to declare that you have a disability and it shouldn't affect whether you were chosen for a job or not. Uh, but yeah, I can relate to this one. and someone has parked on that space so you can't open your doors wide enough again raising awareness in quite a funny entertaining way gets the point across let's move on to a different uh tiktoker now uh footless joe i have spoken about her uh, before on my channel when i did the uh she wants to paralyze herself video because that's where i got my inspiration from for that video um, go and check that out. She doesn't want to be paralyzed. It's all there if you want to go and check it out. Uh, but she is missing a leg. She had to have it amputated. The full story is on her channel. But boy, does she do some incredible things on here. She raises awareness in such a great way. I'm not an amputee, but I've learned so much. But I can also relate to her quite a lot as well. Um, let's have a look. 
think my favourite ones of hers are the stupid things that people say. So let's have a look. Nope. 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 <laughs> I mean, she's got so many good ones. We could be here all day. How do prosthetic legs stay on? There's actually a lot of different ways. This system in particular is called a vacuum seal system. person I run into at the grocery store who's never seen an amputee. <laughs> Another one about staring. We get stared at because we look slightly different. Joe doing a really great one there to sort of uh, take the mick. He's good. He's got some funny things. I can't that one actually gave me the inspiration for the one I did in the bath. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, then you'll have to go and head over to my TikTok. But yeah, it's all about sort of feeling and lack of feeling. Yeah, yeah. Rolling eyes back in my head, make my toes curl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum. This is why I enjoy using a wheelchair. See, it's all good. Fun, it's like light-hearted humour, isn't it? And um, just to put like a few perks out there, I've done a few perks videos, and why not? We have a rough time as it is dealing with constant pain and you know lack of accessibility and segregation and all that kind of stuff. So why not do that? <laughs> start the day realizing that I'm paralyzed but I'm still gonna make it count really nice positive message love it what I love is that he's a young guy as well so there's like a disability doesn't discriminate um, and I know there's lots of I don't know I'm just I haven't seen as many male content creators I know that they are coming there are lots more coming don't get me wrong um, but it is really nice to see guys doing it too. Jack Binstead Binstead <laughs> Let's have a look at Jack. I've seen some of his that are quite funny. Yo, so every single day I get asked questions about like, why I'm in a wheelchair, what's your disability, there's the wheelchair there. And I'm gonna address that for you. I'm gonna tell you why I'm in a wheelchair. I'm just too cool for working legs. Like that. He's quite blunt, quite funny. What I love about his answer here is that we get asked like all the time, like why are you in a wheelchair? Why can't you walk and that kind of stuff? And he's clearly just like had enough of being asked. And he's just given one of those smart arsey answers that I'm sure we've all given. I mean, I've done the shark attack one. Who hasn't? So I love that video. He's pulled up and he's parked in a disabled spot in a multi-story car park. He's parked his wheelchair. He's got out and he's walked a couple of steps. There's nothing wrong with that. That is great for raising awareness to the fact that some wheelchair users can walk, but it is a massive, massive struggle. And go, go to, go, go Jack, is what I say. <laughs> because uh, quite a lot of people who can walk who use wheelchairs do get a lot of hate online because of it um, and people can't seem to grasp the fact that there are ambulatory wheelchair users out there so this is a great one uh, let's have a look at our face so Chelsea Hill she is on TikTok as well so let's have a look she's got some great dance ones but 
I don't want you to think. I thought that like, you have to be an amazing dancer to be on TikTok, but it's not all about dance. Like you can do funny skits and you can uh, raise awareness and it can be used in so many different ways as well. Chelsea does have some awesome dance uh, videos, but what would you expect from Chelsea? Of course she's gonna have great dance videos, but look at this one. Go oh, girl! Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> the struggles of being in a wheelchair user. We can't, you know, just shimmy things around. Great one. Ah, uh, this one's kind of like trending. I'm in the ghetto. It can be so weird at first, but turned into the best thing for me, and it's all about raising awareness of when you're in a wheelchair and then you see other wheelchairs for the first time. Um, kind of, you know, facing it can be quite hard and accepting the fact that you have a disability can be quite hard. Um, and sometimes, I know I've been in this situation, you bury your head in the sand because you don't want to accept it and you just want to block anything to do with disability out of your life. Um, but again, it, it's a really nice video to show that you're not alone and it's fun. And look at them, they're absolutely beautiful girls as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow! I love that one. <laughs> People are always... Oh wow, you must have really strong arms! Wow, you must, you must have really good balance! It's like, watch me get up and run. <laughs> then I don't have good value. There is my video on the disability TikToks. If you want to go and have a look at my TikToks, this is my uh, TikTok handle. Come and say hi. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe this has helped you today. If you've been struggling, it's maybe giving you a bit of a laugh, uh, maybe helped you realize that you're not alone and disability is nothing to be scared of or ashamed of. And you can go out there and you can make your life what you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!